Control plane policing. Even after all we've done for a router, routing protocol authentication, access control list, there's still quite a bit that can be done by an attacker against the CPU of your router. To help protect against that CPU utilization, we can implement this really sweet feature called Control Plane Policing. That's what this MicroNugget's all about. Let's jump in. If I asked you what is the primary function of a router, you might say, Keith, the primary function of a router is to route. So Bob here wants to send traffic out to the internet. That job of the router is to route it, to make layer three forwarding decisions. And you would be absolutely right. However, there comes a time in every router's life when it has to do some other things besides just forward traffic. It might have to think, for example, if we open up an SSH session for management to this router, the router's got to think about it. It's got to reply and maintain that session with us. If this user right here does a ping to the IP address of the router, the router isn't just forwarding that traffic, the router has to think about it. All that thinking that the router has to do is considered to be in the control plane. It's a logical function where the router has to think about what to do. It's not just forwarding traffic. Well, how could an attacker leverage that? Well, an attacker very likely could go ahead and send thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of packets to the IP address of the router and the router would have to respond to every one and therefore could eat up a lot of CPU. Well, how do we protect against something like that? Let's use a simple example and we'll take a look at how control plane policing can solve that. Let's say we want to protect against somebody pinging millions of ping packets, ping requests to the router. Now the challenge is, what interface do we want to protect? Do we want to protect this one, or this one, or this one, or this one? And the answer is, all of them. We need to protect all of them. How can we do that simply? There's a logical interface on R1 called the control plane interface. And if we do quality of service and policing on the control plane, it doesn't matter where the packets come in, the router can rate limit packets down to a manageable flow so it won't overcome the CPU. So what and why of control plane policing is we are going to rate limit certain types of traffic so that the CPU on the actual router is preserved. We do that because we don't want the router to go belly up. How do we do it? To do it, we're going to use something called class maps. And class maps identify the traffic that we want to rate limit or police. We use policy maps that say, oh, by the way, if traffic matches this class of traffic, go ahead and do the, po the policing or the rate limiting. And then finally, a service policy that actually tells it where to apply it. So class maps identify the traffic that we want to manipulate. The policy map says what we're going to do to the traffic. In this case, we're going to police it down to a lower bit rate. And then the service policy says where. Are you going to apply it to an interface here, 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 here? Or do we apply it to the logical control plane interface, which is exactly what we're going to do. So in our example, let's police down to 8,000 bits per second ICMP traffic, regardless of where it's coming from, if it's destined for an IP address on this router. Let's do it. So let's bring in our router and the firewall. We'll do some quick benchmarks, and then we'll actually implement the rate limiting and the policing on the control plane interface. So from this firewall right here, let me go ahead and set us a bunch of pings going out. So we'll do a ping to 192.168.0.1, which is the IP address of R1. We'll say repeat that a whole bunch of times. And it's just gonna run and run and run until I tell that to stop. Now what we'll do is we'll go to the router itself. And on the router, we'll implement the control plane policing of traffic, which is called Control, <laughs> which is called control plane policing, funny enough. So we'll go into configuration mode, and in configuration mode, we're going to set up an access list, not for filtering purposes, but we're going to use an access list to be part of our class map. So the access list says ICMP traffic from anywhere, going anywhere, matches, and then our class map called ICMP is going to match on that access list. So we have a class map that says, I'm looking for ICMP traffic. Next, we're going to create a policy map. And the policy map is going to say, well, if traffic matches the class map, which is ICMP, go ahead and let's do some policing. Now, for our example here, we're going to police that traffic down to 8,000 bits per second. 
which is not very much, but it's enough to still get some ICMP in and out of the system. We're also going to tell it that if traffic conforms and is less than 8,000 bits per second, to forward it, meaning to let it go. And if it's above 8,000, we're going to go ahead and drop it. Next, we're going to apply that policy map. And this is the key element. Instead of applying it to an interface like FA1 slash 0, 2 slash 0, 3 slash 0, we're going to go into the logical interface of the control plane and there apply the service policy that says we want to use this policy map inbound for any traffic. So now any traffic, if it's ICMP and if it's coming into the control plane, regardless of interface where the router has to process it, the rate limiting is going to be applied. So here we are in control plane configuration mode and we'll simply apply inbound that policy map that we just created. So there's some several steps. We have the class map, the policy map, and the service policy that says where we're going to apply it. And now let's go ahead and verify that it's working. So let's do a show policy map for the control plane. And that's going to confirm that it's in place. Look at that. We've already had some exceeded packets. And if we go over to the firewall, take a look at this. Now, if you notice the firewall was firing off all those pings, boom, 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 boom. And now it has drops. So I said 10,000. We're not going to wait a full 10,000 for this. But if we go back here to R1, and I simply do an up arrow key for show policy map control plane, it's going to show us the, the rate limited rate of 8,000, how many packets have conformed to that, and how many packets have exceeded 13. So in this micro nugget, we've taken a look at control plane policing. We have identified the why of it and the what, and that is we want to do control plane policing to protect the CPU, to tell the router, hey, you know what? Within certain limits, it's okay, but above that, don't waste your CPU power on them. Just completely ignore them. How to do it? We're going to use class maps, policy maps, and service policy, applying that policy map to the control plane interface. And to cap it off, we did a nice little demo. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.